Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. So, last episode we survived an attack by a giant killer robot. Barely, that is. But we still haven't been able to get the president to safety. Although, to be fair, she seems to be more than capable of taking care of her own. Which is a good thing, because otherwise this would be an extremely annoying escort mission if I actually had to, you know, make sure she doesn't die or whatever. But um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. But yeah, let's just continue and hopefully we can get out of these tunnels quickly. I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything too interesting around here. Might be something in here, though. Sure, I'll take it. Let's keep going. Oh, great! Is that another elevator? Uh, and there's the relic malfunction I was hey, expecting. Are you? One sec. At the end of It'll the last pass. episode. <clears throat> <clears throat> See, <clears throat> better already. What's the matter? Are you hurt? Um, well, could say that. Yeah, could say that. <clears throat> Old wound. One that literally has you on the floor. Well, it happens every now and then. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. Should I just tell her? Sure, why not? I know it's a... Got an... Experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me. Literally. So me says she might have a solution. Wait. You're talking about the relic. That'd oh, be the one. A it. secretive text someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. <laughs> so that's how she could reach you. It also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all. If we're to survive. Seems like it indeed. But okay, let's use the elevator and go to the apartments, I suppose. This is a long ass elevator, right? Expect in more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. <laughs> it's best to be prepared for any contingency. Oh, good point. Okay, this is us. Eight. Okay, is this a place what for an ambush? For? Hopefully, no one else thinks so. It is a hostile area, so. Let's be careful. Oh, hang on a second. There's a tarot card over here. Is this the place? Let's scan it. I'll cover you. I'm King trying. of Pentacles. Yeah, there's like a pentagram in the background, so clearly. <laughs> so I guess we are collecting like one card from each of the minor arcana decks now. Alright. Okay, um that's the hideout. Also, um, May I have a look at these new cards? This is the one that we found at the very beginning of the DLC. A King of Cups is a creative and emotionally driven person. They are a strong individual who realizes the importance of feelings. Intuition helps them navigate their lives. When fate falls in their favor, compassion guides their actions. When they're at odds with the fate, it can be unwise to trust them. Hmm wonder who or what he is supposed to symbolize, you know, in regards to the game and story. King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is imperious. They represent enterprise, pragmatism, but also attachment. From such a person, one can expect coldness or attachment to material possessions. They are likely to turn your world upside down sooner or later. All right. Interesting. But yeah, let's uh, open this door here. One, two. OK, 
Okay. Looking for so black. far. Where are you, Somi? Huh. Guess we got here first. Seems so. I'll have to sit tight. Though I assume I'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We could also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear-mongering? <laughs> we need to know the situation on the ground. All right, I'll change so... out of this mess. High time. Change? Into those filthy old rags? These filthy old rags won't be smeared all over every TV and terminal screen in the city. Mm. Unlike my presidential best. Have a look Fair around. Point. I'll join you in a minute. Alright, I guess I will try to restore power, but what exactly is this stuff? Pile of clothes. Great low quality status used dirty. Conclusion, old used clothes. Likely left by the apartment's previous inhabitants. Anyway, let's look around a bit. What do we got here? Old parts. Components varied quality low. Conclusion, suitable for technical improvisation. Huh. Is this something I can pick up, maybe? Uh, nope. We do have, like, pretty nice view from here, though. But yeah, let's uh, see if we can get the power running again. I mean, there's clearly something over there on the other side of this place. Pacifican Revolution. Pacifica, get ready for a techno revolution. Night City authorities have announced more than 6 billion euro dollars will be invested to expand the district's telecommunications infrastructure in the coming years. Little is known about the details so far, the one thing for things for certain, such an investment will attract numerous tech giant companies to Pacifica. While free market enthusiasts are already cheering with glee, Dissidents are already beginning to surface, namely the residents. <laughs> As our one anonymous caller eloquently put it, not everyone wants to live in a fucking construction site. <laughs> if that wasn't enough, our sources report Netwatch agents are to oversee the next stages of the investment, which, to say the least, raised a few eyebrows. City Hall refuses to comment on the matter at this time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this didn't go through. <laughs> At some point they just decided to completely um, abandon that place, right? And leave it to itself, essentially. Anyway, let's pick up all the stuff. And then we will try to figure out what that over here is. Cashmere wool. we got here a computer but it's not check this be attempted postmodern art Duh. or maybe a generator more like a home cooked generator maybe we kick start it literally uh huh <laughs> well let's try it well that would have Old been Thornton too easy engine, pretty run down a little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? Meaning what specifically? Hear you loud and clear, something's off. Always bad vibes with you, paranoid much, lemma focus. Yeah, I don't know. Something Wanna might be talk? off. That makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panaceum, a cure-all, then gets <laughs> wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico, got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by and why? Fuck if we know. I mean, not oh, sure if plus it's Kurt really Hansen for us. is fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot itchy feeling in my groin. 
Like someone's not fessed up to something. <laughs> so you think this is all connected somehow? Songbird's hiding something. That's what you're saying. Maya hasn't told all, but does she have to? All things seems to run deep. I mean, that's for certain. One thing's sure. Plot runs Mariana trench deep. We'll cobble together the full picture. Piece by piece if needed. More like rest in pieces. <laughs> Us both. I mean, it's not that we have that much to lose. Anyway, let's get this power <laughs> sitch sorted. If she has a cure for us, well, that's great. And if she hasn't, like I said, we don't really have much to lose, right? But yeah, let's uh, look around a bit. Maybe I should scan the generator. Generator, old engine, removed from a pickup truck, operational. Power source enough choo choo to power up the generator. Washing machine motor connected to the generator. <laughs> Homemade generator composed of a car engine, part of a washing machine, and other miscellaneous parts. At one time capable of powering the entire apartment. Alright. And there's the battery. Manufacturer Stevenson Technologies. Generator power source. Okay, and it seems to be connected with the generator. But I still need to find a way to start this up. Got more old parts over here. Oh, what is that? Dead battery. Battery type universal, frequently used in drone outfitting. Status defective, conclusion, heat damaged, unusable. Okay, so we won't be able to use that. But let's see if we can find something else. Damaged drones. Manufacturer Kang Tao. Status damaged. Conclusion. Antique drones scrapped for parts. Yeah, whoever used to live here must have been quite the tinkerer, huh? Anyway. What else can we find? Diary of Tenants. Some DIY whiz had one hell of a idea with his generator and a pump to siphon the water from the nearby building genius. Brought a cylinder of gas of my own here in exchange for using your stuff. I'm leaving the unit as is. Gas is on me, my treat. To whoever left all this gear, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> There's a 99% chance I would have made some regrettable decision without it. To any and all future tenants, enjoy the luxury. Haley, I ain't much of a techie, but I got a gift of my own. Leaving some brewskis in the fridge. If you manage to get the power flowing, have yourself a nice cold one. Kick back and enjoy. Most other appliances are busted, so I didn't touch nothing in case I'd fuck things up even more. All I needed was a mattress and a bit of R&R before moving on. Sam. I took the jacket someone left near the front door. Sorry I couldn't leave something for anyone coming after me. Thank you all. Okay, so apparently numerous people have been living here using the amenities and sometimes leaving some stuff behind. It's kind of neat. Okay, but I still haven't found a way to start that generator. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, battery powered drone model Bambino. Battery universal can be removed and repurposed. Let's do that. Should I do the trick by my eye? So now let's get back to the generator and let's repair the battery. Oh, I see. There's like go. an empty slot. Fire it up. All right, let's do it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Here goes. And maze balls. <laughs> nice. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. <laughs> Feel free. You earned it. 
beer? No. New look, not bad at all. You look like trash. Uh, I don't know. I guess it fits the situation. New look? Great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. <laughs> Grab a gulp. Um, sure, why not? <laughs> you got my vote. I mean, it's not her beer. The previous tenants left it, so I don't really have to be grateful to her for it. We're stuck in Dogtown with no sign of life from Somi. Not ready to celebrate yet. Suit yourself, but I won't let a good thing go to waste. Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. Hmm. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed, isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this spectacle. <laughs> the NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Night City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. I don't know, I feel if the NUSA wanted to send forces into Dogtown, they wouldn't do it by having their president crash into Dogtown. They would find a different, um, less dangerous excuse. And, I mean, we saw someone trying to shoot down the plane, so someone is responsible here. Shit. Um, so yeah, I hope that no one's buying that. Bull to the shit, nobody's buying that. Oh, they're buying it, all right. Reporters even talking to him is the first sign. <laughs> Night City's public enemy number one, given a full press spread. What a fucking joke. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. So you think someone else might be responsible for that? Prove I'm wrong, show everybody you're alive. Best day put for now, draw no attention. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... That wouldn't really help at the moment if she proved that she's alive because she's still missing and the thing happened, right? Someone shot down the plane, so it's it's not really going to diffuse the situation that much. So maybe better not to draw Fuck any this. attention. All the more reason for us to stay put. Got plenty of mysteries to solve. Songbird, Washington, Hanson. To name a few. Agreed. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird. Okay. Maybe. Can't be sure though. It's our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse that, with a view of the city. And lights that work. Huh. This doesn't feel right. None never does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I'll be dead. Wanna try talking first. I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't <laughs> say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. Can we maybe talk to you? Back guys? the hell up! That's better. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This, the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? 
Uh, I don't know. Let's figure something out. Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face, say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. <laughs> Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Hmm. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. <laughs> You mentioned Hanson. What was that about? Yes, tell me more about that. You negotiated with Hanson? What was that about? Not... Small misunderstanding. <laughs> Made machete this leg off. You motherfucker. What? <sighs> was a... Conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Uh -huh. Now my Obviously. question is, what can you offer us that's better? Um, I don't know. How about cooperation? You lost, Chum. Last I checked, we're in Dogtown. Don't tell me it's you two against the town here. One little misstep in your scop. Would you rather die in Dogtown? Or find yourself a nice place across the city line? Your choice. Jacob? Mm hmm. <laughs> and what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. So I would suggest don't blow this the This is your chance. There won't be another. Shit. But it might could be our last. You got a deal, Madam Prez. Right. And... Want me a Rayfield. Jesus Christ. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. A Rayfield is a car, right? <laughs> Good <Will> work. <laughs> so long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? I mean, I was the one who tried to Rest talk easy, to you. Jim. Just mind your manners. Okay, I promise, Mama. <laughs> well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. All right. Um, I hope I like to I celebrate new tombs by tossing back a few. But T and I got to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Got to get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. But I mean, they seem Watch the master kinda and learn, harmless. <laughs> Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your <laughs> balls in the right place. Okay, so they are called Taylor and Jacob. <laughs> For some reason, this makes me think of Mass Effect 2. <laughs> wasn't wasn't Jacob's last name Taylor? Jacob Taylor? <laughs> Weird. Anyway, let's talk to them. So, um, we're looking for a friend. Yeah, maybe you have seen her. Looking for someone. Asian-American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit, <laughs> you can't ask her to meet at a bar like a normal chew? <laughs> it's not that easy. Night shift, huh? What does that mean? You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. Um, so are you a nomad as well? Badlands. My old stomping ground. Which family are you in? None now. I took an exit ramp off the road you life. How come? I sold my people out to the Raffins. Oh. Fourteen family dead in an ambush at Tipton Peak. Well, you seem like a trustworthy fella. So, that is a little bit too much. Yes, um, I think I don't need more information. Or I will be able to trust you even less. Heavy, Jim. Well, you asked. Fair enough. I'm the one who has to live with it. Okay, well, uh, in that case, I will just let you live with it and talk to your friend instead. Right, Jacob. Sup, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, girl. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay no. stacks, yeah? I'm not really officially working for her. And yeah, it's probably just a one-time gig. 
I don't work for Myers. Call it a one-time thing. Do you shit in the storm drain and call it a toilet? Don't believe me if you want. <laughs> so you a merc? Well, damn, you hit the jackpot. Uh-huh. Live in the dream. Some jackpot that is. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. It's the jackpot of shit, I would say. Um, what is about airdrops? Why is this building vacant? Yeah, tell me more about the airdrops. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into oh. Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me finders keepers. Clepping from Kurt. It's kid stuff. <laughs> Trickle down economics, I okay. call it. And how do you find these airdrops? But apparently that's all I can ask about it. Tell me more about this building. So, one thing I don't get. Building safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. Well, that's because it's haunted. Hmm. But don't worry, baby. You safe with me. Jacob. It's true. <laughs> a lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances. Like an aneurysm, each and every <laughs> one. Okay. One time, 12 runners they found. All their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down banned entry. And the colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. And fuck <laughs> urban legends. Well, I feel safer already. But okay, it looks like we got ourselves some sidekicks here. That's what it feels like. But yeah, um, since I don't really have anything else to do, how about we go back and talk to the president? I mean, I remember there being a computer around. Maybe this works now that the power is back on? Nope. Nope, I still can't use it. Okay, so let's go and talk to Myers. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Hmm. Troubling, to say the least. Maybe something happened to her. But yeah, uh, what is your opinion about our new friends? How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. <laughs> but not entirely useless. Glad I didn't two kill them right away. could always prove handy. <laughs> I'm gonna give him that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. Hmm. Songbird, what if she don't show? Not comfortable here, place just isn't fully secure. I mean, it's probably the best we can find in this place. So, what if Songbird doesn't show up? So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. All right. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. <sighs> See you in the morning, V. All right. I guess we'll take a rest. Until the next morning. Ooh. Let's get up. Okay. Got morning. Taylor She's over on here. The balcony. Ooh. Help yourself to some coffee. I made it fresh. Oh, how nice. But what awful weather outside. And it's not um, often that there's actually rain in this town. Um, anyway, I guess I can talk to him again. So where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? 
Fresh airdrop nearby. Jay went down for a look-see. All right. And had a good night? Sleep okay. Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. <laughs> okay. As for Jacob, he thrives in dreamland. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a Rayfield? My villa with VIP friends? <laughs> High society? On and on till the crack of dawn. Not man with ambitions, mm -hmm. clearly. Those in a deviated septum. Maybe a little bit too ambitious for his own good. I mean, he can be happy if he gets that car, I suppose. Anyway, where's that coffee you promised me? <laughs> oh, there it is. Take it. And we got a conversation. I would like to take a look at that. Archived conversation, Jacob and Taylor. Jacob, Chum, we got this, for real this time. Got what? An invitation to Orbital Air with our names on him. What do you think? Airdrops. Caden hit me up. Said next drop's gonna land near Elizabeth Crest Street. Meet me there in an hour. Know exactly how to grab it so they don't see us. Obsessed is what you are. Trying to fuck Hanson over's gonna be the death of you. <laughs> nah, man, just trying to settle the debt. Either way, you in or out? In, but got a bad feeling about this. He <laughs> still came along for this. I guess uh, this is the place near Elizabeth Crest Street they've been talking about in that conversation. And that's how they ended up here. Um, but yeah, uh, Jacob's not around. Let's go and talk to the president again. Oh, the computer is now functioning, sort of. I mean, it's open, but I still can't interact with it. Seems to have a password on it, too, so... Might not be able to use it. Um, but yeah, let's go and talk to the president. She's not here. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's not coming. Maybe Hansen's goon and Neptor could be dead already, might have managed to flee Dogtown. But then she could probably uh, contact us somehow, right? So maybe Hansen and Neptor. You've seen the swarms Hansen has out hunting. Might have nabbed her. A possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could it still buy that fairy tale bullshit? <laughs> Whatever happened, we have to help her. I mean, she seems to be serious about it and wants to help her. Maybe she has um, some ulterior motives, but she's still willing to help her. Um, either way, maybe we should try to get you out of Dogtown first, and I will look for Songbird. Listen, no, we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay, hmm. gotta be away. Let me think. Uh, know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one though. Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Um, high time to discuss plan B. Gonna look for her myself. Yeah, that seems to be the most obvious choice. We get you out of here and I look for Songbird. Gotta find her myself, sounds like. On my own. Not entirely. I have just the person to help. Do you know? Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and Somi were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. Hibernation? So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. But uh, where would we find this guy if he's just out there somewhere? Sleeper agent. No shit. Tell me more. Unless it's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. <laughs> Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup? That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. 
All right, well, why didn't you tell me about him earlier? Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. A what now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. You always have a bad feeling. <laughs> um, but yeah, tell me more about this uh, dog whistle. You mean an, an analog landline? That crashed or opened a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception. Mm. Old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Might. Remember, 0931. 0931. Got it. Um, sounds manageable. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Mm-hmm. So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Telling me I'm a special agent now? That's yeah. right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. What do you mean? Where's the mystique? Window left ajar. <laughs> So you're just making me an agent, just like this. Secret comms line, presidential token, what's next? A coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Hmm. Take oath. Okay, oath it is. Take coin. Yeah, no, let's skip the oath. Honestly, I don't feel that I have to take an oath here. Either you trust me or you don't. That's up to you. But let's not uh, get too deep into this. Yeah, no, let's skip the formal thing. Is there a problem? It's just a big commitment, you know? Can't swear to something I don't believe in. It's your choice. I understand this was sudden. All right. Good luck go. out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. All right, I guess we got our next objective. Head to the Capitan Caliente restaurant. Okay, it's a restaurant. I was entirely sure what this place is supposed to be. It sounded like the name of a boat or something. But apparently it's a restaurant. Okay, so, um... Oh, I can talk to him about that restaurant. Let's do it. Supposed to go to the local Capitan Caliente. Know the place? <laughs> It's not my top choice for hair of the dog, but it closed down. The business went under and the owner chose the rope. Hmm. Well, that's um, a rather depressing story. So I hope that this landline uh, is still active if the business is closed and the owner is dead. Um, but okay, I guess we're done here for the time being and we're going to leave our safe space behind. What is that? Oh, just some components. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, she's over here now. Oh, I have a bunch of um, dialogue choices here. I guess I will take them. So tell me more about this Reed guy. Can we trust him? Listen, this Reed character? I think we can trust him. Seven years is a long time. Long enough to change a man. Hmm, I think so. You may be right. Or perhaps we can look at it another way. Seven years a sleeper. Any other agent would have walked out long ago. But not Reed. How do you know he hasn't walked out? Has he like officially quit his job? I mean, he wouldn't like officially quit, right? He would just not um, talk to you anymore. <laughs> but either way, let's ask a few more questions. So how did you meet Somi? How'd you and Somi meet? Well, she broke into my house. <gasps> Sorry, what? By which I mean a Militech data fortress. We mapped her signal at the very last second. They should have flatlined her, but... You don't kill talented teenagers when they do stupid things. Mm. You recruit them. 
Give kids like her a chance to make history. Reed understood that best of all. And of course he was right. Um, so you just recruited her to your side instead. I understand. And um, do you expect Arasaka to make any moves? I'm not sure why they would. I mean, are they really involved in all of this? Thinking after the crash, Militech's eyes must be glancing your way. And that gives Arasaka all the window they need. Maybe. But for now, I'm simply Schrodinger's president. Perhaps alive, right. perhaps dead. Both sides are certainly preparing for either outcome. So... So it seems it's business as <laughs> usual. So they just might to try to take advantage of the um, whole situation. All right. Seems a lot of your vets fall out of the system. Uh, are you thinking about Johnny? Ever consider all the vets of all your wars? Tend to land with the nomads. Met quite a few of them, actually. Veterans know better than anyone. Freedom, the open road. They're just empty words. It's more like you've left them without options. Hmm. That I do understand. I know many of our former servicemen and women feel we have no place for them. That we don't want them. However, we extend our hand to them in many different ways. They're the ones who need to grab it. Well, I guess that's true. Uh, thinking of, like, the vets among the nomads, they probably wouldn't want to grab her hand, right? <laughs> for various reasons. But okay, I guess... Uh, and that's it for now. I like the fact that, you know, she found the biggest table in this apartment. I mean, she almost looks like a president sitting behind that. <laughs> so that's the spot that she chose. But yeah, I guess um, now we're done here. Let's head to the door and let's leave, I suppose. And I hope I can just move freely around this place now without having to worry about hey, getting attacked. Made the right call not taking that fascist ass <laughs> oath. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. Honestly, I'm not sure if it would even mean that much if I just take an oath, like in a situation like this. But, um... <laughs> I didn't really Let's feel like it was necessary. But yeah, why do you think that is? How'd you come to that? Because with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Gotta hand it to you, V. Wiser than I was <laughs> back in the day. I mean, I've already seen my share of corporate bullshit, so there's that. Anyway, um, we gotta go down. And he's gone again. <laughs> also, she kind of ambushed me with, you know her request to take the oath, and I don't appreciate um, to have, like, a gun put to my head that way. <laughs> so I said no. But yeah, um, let's see where we can go from here now. Alright, this looks safe at the moment, although there's definitely something going on on the outside, something noisy. Well, look who's away. Oh, you're here. See that crazy color smoke? Yep, wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. Okay. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that climb. <laughs> Why? Don't want to climb, or you're not telling me something. You think I'm finna parkour up on one leg? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that's a good point. So, thanks for the tip, I suppose. Well, thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing. So, that over there is one of the airdrops, and I can just try to claim it for myself. 
Although I'm not entirely sure how I would even get there. <laughs> huh. Well, look at that. We actually have a proper map now. Side job. And we have gigs in this place as well. And another tarot card. Okay, okay. So I can move around more or less freely now. And explore this place without having to worry about, like, getting attacked and whatnot. Um, I mean, I think this is all, like, part of the normal city. Yeah, this is just, like, Dogtown itself. But there's still a bunch of stuff going on. We even have some fast travel spots. <laughs> okay, well, um, that means uh, we definitely need to do a bit of exploring in the next episode. And I guess I will try to reach this See, airdrop. In Dogtown, oh. are you? Well, I've but one word of advice. Caution. Hands? Sheesh. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart. Where the real deals are done. Okay. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. <laughs> in lieu of an answer, I've no work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breached Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name oh. and likeness now registered in the system. Granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Okay. Talk again soon. I guess it's positive. And yeah, Mr. Hans was the guy who messaged me like a while ago. I remember that, you know, someone sent me a message, but I didn't remember the name. I think I said Mr. Fingers, but it's Mr. Hans. <laughs> well, almost correct. Um, so, what did he message me here? Um, if you call me, it's to talk biz. Don't do chit chat. Our dog town streets can run rather narrow. Though not by European standards, mind you. You require a suitable vehicle, one which I happen to have arranged for you already. Collect it at your leisure. You're very welcome. Okay, um, he just gave me a car. Things, a good fixer, things of everything, don't they? Dogtown is what Europe looks like, sounds lovely, and thanks. <laughs> I do wonder what Europe looks like. But yeah, I guess, um, thanks for the car. Of course, safe driving now. So I guess it's just a car that I can call now and it's part of my inventory. All right. Anyway, I guess this is a perfect moment to make a cut. I guess I will try to reach this airdrop somehow and then just um, look around a bit, explore a bit, maybe check out um, the side drop here because clearly um, there's not just the main mission going on, but for now, let's call it a day as always. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.